And we're back in the game with some more Call of Warhammer, beginning of the end times, playing as the High Elves. There's a rather attractive but dangerous looking female on the screen. Now, we've recaptured the settlement of Soisheng, and we have some forces coming down to blockade the Night Goblins. However, they do have a few forces inside our territory at the moment. We're coming down to clear out those rebels, and we're going to load this agent, who is a spy, onto our fleet. Where we have an army, I believe. We do indeed. Our first army that we're going to be sending up to the Chaos Lands, or the Lands of Chaos. And the reason that we have spies up here is to help us decide where we're going to attack. The easiest settlements to attack. And we have quite a few spies already. And we're probably at an end turn, I believe. So let's end the turn. If we consolidate all of our forces in the lands of Norska, we should probably have enough to deal with the Night Goblins. Once we start pushing them back from a couple of their settlements and reducing their ability to uh, retrain and resupply their armies. Now, I believe they get a garrison in both of these settlements, a very powerful garrison. So, we're going to avoid them. Right. Now, those are some tough units. Ox Magoth. Uh, Nurgle usually has quite a few of those. So, we're probably going to have to face some of them. Now, who's actually in here? Probably some dwarves. Yep. Norse dwarves. Chaos will not defeat me. We can auto resolve them down. The strength of now, what happened to those night goblins? They've all gone up towards Soy Shank. Right. Well, we're going to put you on that bridge for the moment. And we're going to move you down towards help it. Let's look for some other places where we can recruit some troops. And we've got a few small rebels popping up. No evil passes without bloodshed. Right. Your success is assured. We have an agent. That's just another spy. Okay. Send you in this direction. Move you as close to the lands of chaos as possible. And then come and pick you up by ship. And we have a ship here, in fact, with some troops on. Right. Come along here. You need a general to command you. Right. So we shall give you a general, and we shall give you some more troops. We've got some elite units in here. Right, you're a bit short on cavalry. Do we have any more? No. You're depleted. We'll give you some more cavalry. Right. You are coming along here to build watchtowers. You're going to come up here. We're sending another ship over here, aren't we? Yep. There they are. And they're going to start picking up horses from over here. Evil passes we will live with. Our resolve shall not break. 
Uh, you're just sitting in the port, aren't you? Not doing anything. Not being very useful there. Changing position, Commander. Especially as we have this one over here. Uh, we still don't have any ports over here. We must move with haste. Right. Do we have any more generals laying around? None in there. And none in there. We do have a couple extra ones over here. There can be no right. For that Send these ones back over here. Rest your bow arms, brave warriors. And see if there's anyone else we can recruit. Nobody from there. You're just getting some retraining armor upgrades, aren't you? Well, it's all quite expensive. The horror of war is the burden of all. We will rid this battlefield of the foe. The Phoenix King commands and we obey if it pleases you, Commander. We can't pick these units up with our ships. Citizens of Ulthuan stand ready. The Phoenix King commands and we obey. Right. And didn't we have an agent that we were moving around out here? Thought we had a. Yeah, this one. I have goods for barter. Assuredly. Coming to make us some money. Let's check our other settlements down here. If there's any rebels hanging around, need cleaning out. No, don't see any. We've got a couple of units in here that we might decide to move soon. Our money is getting lower, so we need to start capturing some territories. Wisdom alone does not win war. No foe can resist the mages of the White Tower. No foe can resist the mages of the White Tower. We haven't had any luck killing off these heretics around here. Right, construction. Quite a bit we got done. We still want to make some more money. Right. We need to move you out. Nothing can help us from here. What can we do up here to increase our money? Everything looks so expensive when your money's going down. You're reasonably cheap and quick to build. And we repaired some buildings here. Okay, we do have a couple of diplomats hanging around the campaign map somewhere. Not doing too much. There's one in Middle Land. And one over here in. There's usually some Skaven around here, and the Border Princes are over here. Looks like the Dwarves have captured there. Let's see if we can get some money. They do have modest treasury. But they turned us down. Relations worsened with Reichland for some reason. 
The gods have guided what me. What is it you wish to discuss? Nobody really wants to be our friends. You hold us ah, they accepted. They Good. So, we're ready for another end turn. I'm sure the um, Night Goblins are going to attack. Let's see if we can see what army they have. Ooh. They have a lot of Madcap Blues in there. Nasty Sculptors and Trolls. I think that's an, a an actual spawned army. What they've got there. Ah, even more trolls and a lot of squigs and artillery in fact. That's not going to be fun fighting against. But we're almost certainly going to have to be fighting them. That's going to take us a couple of turns to get down here with that army. So let's end the turn. Ah oh, yes, we had reinforcements coming from Elfman, don't we? And there's a heretic outside of Frost. Now on that ship there, south of Durfang, there should be some wizards, I believe. And we could definitely use them against the night goblins and all of their monstrous units. Take the settlement, Dushka. Yeah, we've got three units of wizards there and four generals. It's nice. Go swiftly and show for the glory of Ulf One. We shall meet right. Somebody's been wiped out. Halibickland. That's interesting because on the campaign map they have perhaps four regions. Alright, I wonder if we can get our diplomat down there to find out. Ah. Maybe it was the Vampire Counts who took them out. Because that was the capital of Tal of Eklund. But that's now a Vampire Count fort. Right, there's an alliance. It's looking like the dwarves are actually getting quite big. Yes, they've got some good territory over here. That's very unusual. Ah, we've got our uh, sun dragons now. Nice. Alright. How many turns before we can get some more? 17 turns. Wow. Right. That should be the sun dragon general. Why don't you go and head on up to Tordinal. We will bring victory. We'll send that no navy up there. Let's do our construction. Palace of the Dragons. So we can now get our very best cavalry. Dragon Princes of Calador. Alright. And we can get our Lion Chariots of Grace. Or Trace. However you wish to pronounce it. Both taking three turns. Right. We will. Even though that's costing us a lot of money. We're at seven and a half thousand. Ooh. It's painful. Let's build a road. Help out with our economy. They're nice units, but they are expensive. Durfan got a port. Right, let's upgrade our military buildings. Right, which military building? More cavalry. 
we need to be mobile against those night goblins, I think. What do we need to get here? Lothran Seaguard. My blade is dead to all of this room. Our fight is eternal. Yeah, we're gonna be short on money very soon. So they did not attack. Zoyshenk. We're going to have Erengrad very soon. We could possibly auto resolve them right now. None can match my skill. Let's move you or oh, what's quicker. I think sending you down to there. My mouth will carry me swiftly. Now, what about this? Leaps over here. Where to send them? What do they have in there? They do have some strong units. They can only take one more unit, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. So even if there's a garrison script, they can't get more than one more unit. And that's a pretty big settlement. Should we actually land them right now? Are we going to have enough movement points? Yes, we are. Remember the glories of right, we'll send you up there. There's a never Nurgle city. Our spy would actually let us in. Right, they don't get a garrison script there then. Ooh, those are some tough infantry units. They may attack us on the end turn. Right, you've been the kicked out. We will slip through unseen. That's their faction leader there. With not too many troops nearby. Interesting. And we could almost block them off from there. Yeah, almost. Your orders, Commander. Right. No army of mine can lose. So you need some more units. Five more units. Ooh, the those are good. War is the burden of all. We fight for the survival Three, of the four, world. five units. Yeah. We will rid this battlefield of the foe. They should do well at blocking. Of the night goblins. Let's look to build up some more forces. Right, we have extra generals in there. You're going to get some garrison units soon. Let's merge any units we have to there. It has been four thousand years since the likes of I have trodden the ground. Let's take an extra general. Defeat me. We fight for the survival of the world. My blade is needed elsewhere. Right. Let's and start building up another army. I'll resolve if it pleases you, Commander. And you're almost at full strength. So you're going to get at least one garrison unit. How happy are you? Not very. You can't get any units. Get some cavalry here now. Right. Horses are building up. All for one shall never fall. No shadow will prevail while I still live. Right. No treachery goes unpunished. We seek what the next None can match I think we'll send you back here to take the command of this army Let's we're building up. On, brave warriors. Chaos will not defeat me. There is no time. We will bring victory. 
We shall move, Commander. All for one shall Keep on moving. We await your commands. We will defend these lands as if they were our own. Right. We can send that priest over to here. And we can even get another ship. Right. We await your counsel. Uh, you know what? Let's just recruit another one, even though it's taking most of our money. The people of Ult, your orders are clear, Commander. And we, we do have a port there people. now. We never miss our mark. Right. We may as well send you around there. Commander, our resolve shall not break. Your success if we fight for the survival of the world. Our task if we will defend these lands. Yeah, if we're gonna have a full stack there very soon, and then some. Anything going on over here that we need to worry about? Wisdom alone does not win war. So just you know keep you moving. Nothing can outpace the dragon. Nothing can outpace the dragon. Alright. And we have a dragon. Chaos will not defeat me. Right, no units there. We're going to have a new wizard unit very soon. There's ten men to a unit, I believe. Alright, we shall see what the night goblins are going to do and what the Nurgles are going to do, or the Nurgleites. And they are attacking. Right. That is that force from outside. As far as cavalry goes, yep, very little uh, in the way of cavalry. In fact, their general is an infantry unit, I believe. Let's take a look. Yes, Chosen of Nurgle, bodyguard. So, they only have one cavalry unit, no, two Chaos Knights, and this monstrous unit. We don't have that many missile units. I mean, the Lothran Sea Guard are missile units, but I think they only have perhaps three or four arrows. It's not too many. Right. I think, well, both armies have heavy infantry. So it's going to take a lot of ammunition to destroy any of them, really. Uh, we need a better composition army if we are fighting them. But let's go ahead and give it a go. We may be able to win and claim a Nurgle city. I think if we manage to claim it, I'm going to... Well, we're going to sack all of the buildings in any case, no matter what. Start deployment. Well, it's a snowy battlefield, but it doesn't look very cold. We have a lot of spearmen, which would normally be good if we were facing a lot of cavalry. Right. We may as well put them in guard formation. Yeah, as far as Archers go, we only have two dedicated ones.
we've got our cavalry out here. That's a nice wide plane. We do have some shock cav. We can hide in the trees perhaps. No, it doesn't look like they're going to hide. And we have our loafer and sea guard. Let's take them off of pirate will until we know where we're going to put them. battle right there's the enemy reinforcements let's take a quick look a close-up before battle starts of our units there's the eleven sea guard with the well I guess that's a sea dragon isn't it on their shields our archers are already firing but I think we're going to have them come and harass this other force that's coming in. Right, you can go on fire at will. Now that starting army, they don't have any monsters in there, do they? So they're not going to be able to punch through our lines. I'm fairly certain. Uh, marauders are easy to kill off. We need to be targeting high value targets. Right. Oh, we killed 6%. It's not too shabby. What we have to worry about are those box magavs. Uh, some artillery would have been useful against them. There they are. They haven't yet entered the battlefield. And those chaos knights we have to worry about. Right, you're using up most of your ammunition. Who's their general over here? That unit, right? Go ahead and target them. Right. Let's bring our general and our shock cav over here. Try to get them around the flank. We've only lost 2%. We're now firing on their reinforcements. Now, try to find someone. Ooh, those are all marauders. They're chaos warriors. Shoot them. Because uh, marauders and desolators, we can just kill them off with basically any unit. Uh, Need to kill off those halberd units. They're going to be a threat. Can we sneak around there? Possibly. Alright, keep targeting them. We've killed 18% now. Uh, this episode will be a little bit longer than usual. But why not? It's your free time, so you can do whatever you want with it. And I'd be very happy if you spent it uh, watching my videos. So those Chaos Knights may be bugged out, because they're not moving, are they? Uh, Bestigors are also a good target. I think they cause some fear. We basically wiped out that unit, Chaos Warriors, and the same with those. Actually, not, let's not chase after those. They can be dealt with by our starting forces. Alright, their Chaos Knights are starting to move now. Can we get some rear charges in? 
going to be charging uphill. But it's not that terrible. I'm going to get those to stop firing. We basically don't have any ammunition left. Yeah, we did pretty well against their general's unit. We've got a good charge in there. We've got two units of Sea Guard attacking from the front. Our Illyrian Reavers are starting to use up all of their ammunition. Go in for some charges. Yeah, you're close to wiping them out. Come back and go in for another charge. There's uh, some halberd men there. They're going to cause some problems. Let's try to get rid of them. Yeah, we've ratted those. What happened to their pox maggots? Will they actually come in? I don't see them, but I suspect that they're on the battlefield by now. So. Their reinforcement army is getting closer now. We have here Marauders, we can kill them. Chosen of Nurgle Bodyguard, that's their... Was that their faction leader? Maybe we can kill him off. We'll just hit him with everything that we've got. Go and kill them off. Uh, go and kill them off. Uh, Loaf and Sea Guard, you can come back up here. Alright. Come in and everyone hit their General's Bodyguard. What do we have coming here? Marauder Desolators, they should be easy to kill. Where's their... I think we killed their general. Right, that unit of Chaos Knights managed to get by all of our units, but they've run into Loaf and Seaguard, which have a pike or a short spear. Enemy general is Dead, General Helmet. How are we doing against their General? Can we even find him? Uh, let's get a rear charge in. Yeah, uh, killing off quite a few of their units. Right. General, get away from those halberds. We'll send you in to distract them. And it looks like we killed off all of those Chaos Knights. You can now go and help out these units over here. You've used all of your ammunition. Let's throw you into the meat grinder. Those besticles have been broken. Lothar and Seaguard, go and help out over here. Are we actually killing their general? 
Yes, it's down to one model. So the actual general effect. Let's be a little aggressive with our spearmen and our archers. There he goes. He's down and he's out. Right, that's freed up a lot of units, hasn't it? Go in and help out over here. Right. Those have been broken as well. Continue. Now, whatever happened to those box maggots? That was the unit I was worried about, but I never saw them anywhere. I don't think we shot them with our Illyrian Reavers. They did enter the battlefield, didn't they? Or are they still stuck outside? They're still stuck outside. They never entered. Well, that was a piece of luck, wasn't it? Ah. Good for us. Because they can be tough to pull down. Somebody go and kill them off. And speed it up. Who was it that we killed? Johannes Nergelson. How original. 99% killed for roughly a quarter of our army. We did a lot better there than I thought we were going to do. And down to 20%, so only one fifth of our army. Wow, that was nice. Right, so there goes a Nurgle city. That's a lot of money though, isn't it? Let's offer it. I think they probably have the money. They've rejected it. That's their problem. Uh, we can now sack the settlement. Get a good amount of cash for that. And we're probably just going to run away, get on our ship and sail back and retrain and send a different army up here but that reduces the places where they can train troops even if they start construction now we're going to get basic troops from there for a few turns mission expired take settlement, another has taken that settlement that's over here Kislev, no way, that's not possible, unless it rebelled. It had to have rebelled, seriously. Kremel Guard, Bodyguard, yes. I've played a Kislev campaign before, and I'm pretty sure those are the units they get when that settlement has rebelled, because there's no losses in there. And they've got a generic bodyguard unit. So that must be what happened. Okay, that's interesting. Because we were just about to wipe them out. They don't actually have a faction member in there. The only faction members are in here. That has to be another general or family member. I'm going to try and auto-resolve it. Well, it's only 5 to 2, believe it or not. Still not better. The reason I wanted to take it now is because they may get a an adoption 
or his son might come of age and be put in there so we wouldn't actually kill the faction off if we take Aaron Brad. We may still kill them off if they don't get one. Ah, that's very unusual. Alright. A war has been called. That's the green skins going on a killing crusade. Right, get there. Uh, block off their access. We now have this force that we can in fact send up here. I'm not concerned if they send troops through here now because we can stop them at those two crossing points. And we also have this army which can almost reach there. And we also have this one now block them in. Right. Here's what we're going to do. There's another settlement out here, if you follow the, the roads. There's another Nurgle settlement. A good sized one. There's some Nurgles there. But that's Zinch territory. And here's an undefended, or basically undefended, Nurgle territory. So instead of running away, we could go for that one or this one. I think we'll go for that one. You're going to blockade that fort. High tax rate, very high. Destroy their buildings. Get some money back. Okay, now well, you can reach there, let's start putting our forces into those ships. And let's get our wizards over here, or try to. The Phoenix King commands and we obey. We will wait for you in rear of this battlefield of the foe. The people of Ulthuan stand united. Right, we're building up a lot of forces now. Oh, okay, we've got that force over there. Now, uh, retraining, yes. No retraining there. Right. None there. Let's send you along here. We await your counsel. Ah, there's a heretic outside of there. I will Let's see if we can kill them off. Ah, we got lucky there. I don't think we need to keep him there. We've got an extra ship there, and we'll have one from there. We shall move, Commander. We never miss We'll send you up to here. Go swiftly and surely. Our struggle is eternal. Nothing can outpace the battle. I am unbeatable. Ah, we got some rebels popped up there.
So we still got a good amount of money left over. The horror of war is the burden of all. Our advance continues. Recruitment. Increased. Right. And we'll be ending the episode in just a minute. After we make sure that we've done everything that we need to do. I'm tempted to go for a never. Uh, unit of wizards. We'll see how much is left after we've done our construction. The fate of the world rests on my shoulders once more. I am no longer needed here. It's been a while since we had to fight any uh, rebels over here in any of our western settlements. My mouth will carry me swiftly. There was a point where we were having to fight so many of them. Right, not too much construction, so perhaps we will in fact get some more wizards. Yes indeed, I think we will. Now, let's see where we can get them from. Probably in Hoef. Yep. Two more turns before we can start. So we've got three in the recruitment queue and one here. And we've got our uh, dragons coming up here. Maybe we need to start getting some more generals as well. And I think that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. So we've had a couple of good battles there. Uh, we finally got into the Lands of Chaos. And we're pushing back the Night Goblins. So all in all, check the episode. And we shall probably continue our advance in the next episode. We're likely to take Erendred. They're not going to get any reinforcements from Dushka in time. Dushka may become rebel if we take Erendred. We've got two full stacks here that we can start pushing out with. Uh, send one down here to the river crossing. And another one over here to the bridge crossing. And push down with some troops from here. We take Dushka, Bolsograd, and Prague. And then we can defend these river crossings as well. And continue our push into Chaos territory. So, until next time, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you later.